this one here is do you have to be crazy to be an artist? I want you to stop and think about that for a second. And then we're going to go into detail in terms of like the, the kind of crazy that was presented. But overall, it no, came out at. No, it was, you have to be crazy to be a superstar artist. A superstar artist? Yeah, that was the combo. It was like, okay. well, I mean, I still do think you have to be kind of crazy to be a kinda crazy. artist. Yeah, like at least a little bit crazy to be an artist. Because you got to yeah. be crazy even when to attack everything that's about to come from the moment you hit upload. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and what might come from that a bit. If shit, I always tell artists, bro, like, there are a lot of artists, I think, get into the game romanticizing what it's like mm -hmm. to be a popular artist because you yeah. don't know anything yet. And then you yeah. get into it, you're like, oh, this shit a lot of work. Yeah. This shit is stressful. Oh, it's a thousand people trying to talk to me at all times. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They just want to know everything I'm doing. And it's like, damn, this shit sucks. And it's like, yeah, bro, you know, man. Then you in it to see. So, yeah. you know, that's how I think. Like, you got to be kind of crazy to be want to be an artist. But the point they was making about being a celebrity, wanting to be a celebrity, like a superstar, you have to really be insane mm. to be want to be a celebrity or a superstar. That's true. Yeah. That's true. One of the quotes was came down to this. You have to be crazy to think that everybody fucks with you. Yeah, exactly. Because of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it came down to, right? And then narcissism was a, a word that got used. What do you think about that? No, I agree, bro. Like, like think about the type of person, like that was saying, that just walks around and someone's like, you like it? You like it? You gonna like it? And if that over, everybody over there just heard it, they will also like it. You they, know? Don't, they don't get me if they don't like me. Yeah, exactly. It's like I don't think there are too many art forms that are like that outside of music. Like I, I don't think I've ever heard any of my like art friends, like painting visual art friends, ever like expect everyone in the gallery to like their piece necessarily. Mm. Right. I've never expected okay. my dance friends to expect everybody to want to show up to the dance recitals. Music artists, bro, are my music artist friends. No, nah, they were expecting everybody to play that shit for to fuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this shit hard, right? This shit hard, right? Yeah, I could get with that. I could get with that. <laughs> Especially when you talk about the celebrity level. And I think once you talk about celebrity level, it actually goes beyond music. Mm -hmm. Because you can be a celebrity politician, celebrity yeah. actor, right? Because there's all those levels. Once you hit that celebrity level, there's definitely a sense of thinking completely differently. And I'm not talking about in that cool marketed think yeah. different type <laughs> shit nah we're not talking about apple we're just talking about you know your rocker is a different rocker yeah, your you know brand I mean? really wired a little different yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> you, you might not be off your rocker your rocker just might be a different color you know what i'm saying yeah. so it, and I, you know we can always go to the extreme where there's kanye like that's an example mm -hmm. right but i don't think there's anything to gain from that conversation i think the gain comes from the in-betweens like who doesn't present themselves in this way that's so brash and obviously shaking the table in some kind of way, but still is a narcissist, quote uh, in in some form or fashion. Like people love Rihanna, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and everything about her image is like down to earth. But I'm still that bitch at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. Is she crazy? Well, see, right. I was going to say, that's what makes it them crazier is when they're right. Because there are certain <laughs> groups of artists that are right, bro. And, like, everyone that comes across it for whatever reason loves it. Like, Rihanna. Rihanna's a great example. I've, I haven't, I won't say everyone I know is a mega Rihanna fan, but I've never met anyone that, like, hated Rihanna's music, you know what I'm saying? Or thought it was bad or whatever. You might not mm -hmm. have your... You might not like all her music, but all of us got a favorite Rihanna song. You know what I'm saying? Like, like all of us could think of one Rihanna song we fuck with heavy. Okay. And if you okay. say you don't, you're lying. So, no, you know no, 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 <laughs> no. I, I would never. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> well, in not that even camp. you specifically. Okay, I'm just yeah, getting ahead yeah. of the comments. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah you, you know, say you don't, you're lying. Be somebody yeah. in the comments that says something like that. But hey, <laughs> reveal yourself if you are one of these folks who don't have one Rihanna song. And I think there's the qualifier because you don't have to just like people's music and don't like Rihanna. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Fair. Because that's another thing, just brand wise. I personally haven't met anybody that like that hates Rihanna. They, you know, like they find her to be likable. They might not be, you know, super stand following her, but like, oh yeah, she's cool. Especially in contrast to other celebrities, mm -hmm. right? She's one of those brands. So that's what I feel like that conversation is more interesting. Somebody that you can't point to all these stereotypical things and be like, oh, they're crazy. Mm -hmm. 
I'm like, all right, does to be Rihanna, do you have to be crazy? Jay Z, you hear people say all these things like he's a narcissist, da, 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 da. so like you can go off the strength of like what other people say about him if you know if you want to just do that. But the way he carries himself, well, I know a lot of people say his business moves are you know they try to say narcissistic or or for self, but generally his affect and how he presents himself in a room, I wouldn't find him. As, I wouldn't say that oh you're just this narcissist da 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 da. da. Maybe because of my personality, because that's one of them personalities where some people feel like, oh, you're being condescending. Mm. But the way I think of myself, it's hard to find someone talking to me condescending because <laughs> it's like, you can't be talking to me that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, so I don't, it's not like, I don't know. I think, I've, yeah, Jay Z, I, I don't know. I hear enough about him. Again, this is obviously not knowing him, but a lot of people feel that way about him. But yeah, I really don't have. Do you get that vibe though, just from hearing him talk, like his regular personality? Yes. In what way? I would love to hear it. Like, I think Jay Z's had enough business success where, in his head, he can't really do too much wrong. Like, I don't think he thinks he's completely immune to to bad. Ah, okay, that's to, different. Yeah. That's different. You know, I don't think he thinks he's immune to bad. He has one of those, like you know, every couple of years. But it's like. It's like, bro, if I've swung 20 times and, like, 13 of them have been out the park, bro, like, it's only so much you can say to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's only it's only, it's only, only so much I'm going to listen to people telling me this ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it kind of goes back to that uh, conversation we had about the influencers and making music, right? Well, I was saying that if you have this person that has sold chicken nuggets and hats and socks and shit to people, like, what, what's going to make them think they can't sell music, right? So I look yeah. at Jay-Z the same way, bro. I've sold alcohol. I've sold clothing. Yeah. I've sold music. I've sold businesses, I've sold art, I've sold land. <laughs> <laughs> what is there out there to make me believe that I can't do whatever the fuck I want to do? And yeah, like, but, the, but, art, but where's the line between narcissism and confidence in that? I don't think there is a line between it. I think narcissists have a lot of confidence. I don't. I, but do confident people have narcissism? Probably. See, this I think, is where, it, I think it's safe to say yes. This is where we have to look up the, the definition of narcissism. Because I actually remember seeing Gary Vee one time um, say that he always thought that he was a narcissist. Like, he would say that, like, oh, and, like own it based off of the general understanding. Mm. But then he looked at the definition and stuff one day and was like, wait, nah, I don't identify with, with that let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up i have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free as you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Person. So oh. a person who has an excessive interest or admiration of themselves. That's the shorthand, right? I ain't know. Ex ex excessive is, is a, uh, what is it? It's subjective. Bro. Oh, that's artist, bro. Yeah, not not <laughs> all right. Not all right. How about narcissist traits? I think that's probably where he kind of like didn't have as much of a gap. I'm mean, uh, uh, see. bro. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We uh -oh. in there. Oh yeah. That's the right. one. <laughs> have an unreasonably high sense of self importance and require excessive admiration. Okay. Feel that they deserve privileges and special treatment. Mm. Expect to be recognized as superior. Even without achievements. Oh, well, that's Google Page Spin. Uh, okay, okay. Make now you gotta read the last one. The last one's important too. Make achievements <laughs> and talents seem bigger than they are. Give me an example. That's all of them, bro. That's that's every artist, bro. That now I take it back. It's not even a successful artist anymore. The narcissist. It's all artists at this point. Uh, oh man, <laughs> who knew we were going down this rabbit hole today? 
<laughs> let's look. Yeah, we gotta we gotta keep going with these. Let's see. Be preoccupied with fantasies about success, power, brilliance, beauty, or the perfect mate. Oh, that's interesting. The perfect mate can mean believe they are superior to others and can only spend time with or be understood by equally special people. <laughs> bro, that's what I'm saying, hey, bro. That shit, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. All of them, bro. I love. I, I love that. That's hilarious. Every just to read. Okay. Okay. So you you can you you can give your time to the peasants, Jacory, King yeah. Jacory. Yeah, hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? I'm always down for the people. Come on, King man. You, know what I'm saying? You, know? you don't want to waste your time on these people, King. No, yeah, bro. Sometimes you gotta walk <laughs> through the lands. You know what I'm saying? To see what's going on, bro. <laughs> Survey your landscape. See what's see, up. That's where I have a problem with that, right? Right? Because. <laughs> You could spend that time, right? And you could be looking at it like that. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm granting these people with my presence today. But that, <laughs> all right, now, if we want to go to uh, Jay-Z then, he said my presence is a present. So I guess that does fall in, under that category of how a narcissist might think. Exactly, bro. Right? Yeah, he Are said you that. lucky to even be around me? Yeah. I don't think he said him and Obama. He, he, Jay-Z has had maybe one or two Kanye-esque analogies that he didn't get Kanye uh, pushback for. Like comparing himself to somebody or the way he like talked mm. about something, I, I will I will say that, and and, and that's somebody who really really loves Jay Z's music. But that's because his comparisons usually like make sense if you really like like, like you can that's you can you can draw the line between A and B pretty quickly. And and that yeah, if it makes sense, <laughs> what's the problem, right? What's the problem? <laughs> but you know, all right. So let's let's see what else we got. Behave in an arrogant way, brag a lot. I mean, that's rappers. Well, a lot of rappers, right? And come across as conceited. Hell of rappers are. Be envious of others and believe others envy them. That's rap. That's that's rap foundation one hundred and one. That is that is facts, <laughs> man. Everybody ops. All right. Invest in having the best of everything. For instance, the best car or office. <laughs> it's funny how detailed this is getting, but it is describing. At the same time, people with narcissistic personality disorder have trouble handling anything they view as criticism. They can become impatient or angry when they don't receive special recognition or treatment. Mm. Yeah, we getting in there. <laughs> have major problems interacting with others and and easily feel slighted. Mm. And that's kind of to the fullest though. He do be like this. Whenever someone doesn't agree, he be going straight to like offended. How dare you question my views? React with rage or contempt. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> to, and try to belittle other people who make themselves appear as superior. Oh, you can't be superior to me. Have difficulty managing their emotions and behavior. Experience. See, all right, what about that? Somebody like Jay-Z, right? Let's go back to that category. The way he's had to move and get to where he is, he's had to do a lot of emotional management. I mean, you ain't got to be shooting 100. You, you know got to shoot 100? Yeah, you ain't got to be shooting right. 100. You know what he saying? might be a B-level yeah. narcissist. <laughs> Not, hey, bro, a narcissist would take offense to that. <laughs> I'm not the best narcissist, nigga. What you mean? <laughs> Experience major problems dealing with stress and adapting to change. Huh, that's interesting. I don't even know how to unpack that one. Let's see. Withdraw from or avoid situations in which they might fail. Mm. I call that smart to a certain extent. You know what I mean? I, mean, I don't know. Like after they they say this about especially like competitive people or just and especially as you get older and they invest. Less in things that they can lose, yeah. Because just like, why do it? Yeah, why take the risk? Yeah, I don't, so to me, that's pretty logical. I mean, yeah. nobody said no narcissist was stupid. You yeah, know what I'm right? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. But I guess maybe the reason, right? I, they're not going to invest in a, something they might fail because of the look of it. Yeah, exactly. That's probably what. It be is. a chip in the armor. Yeah, you know, yeah. chips in the armor. <laughs> Which I got. With that being said, Andrew Schultz had a a very clean way of describing Kanye and what he's going through today. Now, whether you disagree or not, folks who are listening, that's besides the point. But I love the analogy. He talked about how Kanye has, you know, blown up with his um, sampling, right? Mm. As a producer, taking all these sounds from different places and sampling them mm. and then making magic, right? Yeah. And he said, well, Kanye is finding that he's not as good as sampling people's thoughts as he is as sampling people's music and sounds and putting them together and presenting them. Mm, I thought that was a good ass yeah. like metaphor and analogy, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like, hey, whether you agree or not, whatever, <laughs> but no, nah, that shit was beautiful. He's like, he's sampling these people's thoughts and is not being communicated and hit the same as his music. He not he not making hits. Yeah. Like that 
That, that's very fair. And hey, look, people who argue that though, I say this all the time that Kanye said several times, he don't read. So oh, he, he has that. to be getting thoughts from somewhere. Must be people. So <laughs> that is in line with that analogy, whether you like the outcome of his his sampling or not, or his new production. <laughs> He is getting his thoughts from other people. Um, but anyway, besides the point, let's read these last two. Withdraw, no, feel depressed or and moody because they fail short. They oh my feel depressed and moody because they fall short of perfection. Yep, check. Have secret feelings of insecurity, shame, humiliation, and fear of being exposed as a failure. Check. All of them. Right. This ain't even to be this ain't this this ain't even anymore about the superstar thing. This is just this is just R to a T at this point. Oh man. So now it's like you already, you know what I'm saying, you know, kinda of a little 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 off just for wanting to be an artist. Oh. And then now you want to be a superstar artist, bro. You want you want four year olds to walk by and recognize you and you want like grandparents in the supermarket be like, oh you you that guy from the right. You're like, that's what you want, bro. That's what you want your day to day life. Most yeah. people seek peace and to mm. not stand out. Mm-hmm. But artists already inherently stick to stand out. Superstar artists stick to stand out from everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like not even yes. just other artists, just like everything. Yes. And that's a little that's a little insanity. You know what I'm saying? That I can see that. You 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 touched on something. Most people seek peace. Yeah. All right. And there's an idea that the reason most people seek peace, right? And most people don't seek to stand out is because standing out brings the opposite of peace yeah it dangerous. causes trouble yeah. right you go back to nature you stand out you're a lick yeah. right now you are prey there's a risk that comes with that however the reward is if you're able to stand out and survive that then by golly you the king of the jungle you yeah. know what i'm saying <laughs> like golly so <laughs> that's what those people are seeking but you it, it takes a lot that, that comes with it i think that was the that, that might have been the the zebra analogy, if I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, remember I talked to you about that? Yeah. So, yeah, for those of y'all who who don't know the zebra comparison or analogy, they say, you know, zebras have these stripes, all right? And then you look at zebras and you look at the Sahara and you say, well, what the hell kind of camouflage is this? Because that only makes them stand out. But it's not about the context of the zebra with the environment it's in. It's more of the context of zebras versus zebras, mm-hmm. right? Because zebras move in packs. I don't know if they call them packs, but, you know, packs, schools, whatever you want to call it. All right. They move together. And because of that, when lions are chasing them, they blend in. All right. All of the zebras blend in together so they can't say, yo, bruh. Like, I want that one because they're all moving. And like I'm like, yo, Ja'Cory, we're going to get that one. Ja'Cory, like, what one, bro? Which one are you talking about? I'm like, that one. He's like, no, nah, bro, you talking about that one? And they, they, they moving. We can't keep up. However, one that gets injured, all of a sudden, they stand out from the rest of the zebras, mm-hmm. right? So now, I say the one that's hobbling, bro, right there. Ja'Cory's like, I got you, dog. Run it down. Hit a lick, right? So... Them moving, their camouflage again is them. But once something stands out, even in nature, it 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 means you're in dangerous position. And when you relate that back to the artist, and you hear this narcissism thing, ah oh man, it means the only reason that you would stand you. So does that mean only a narcissist would want to stand out? Is that what that means? I don't think so. No, I think. I don't know, man. I think everyone has a little piece of them that wants to stand out. I think every person kind of, one way or another, we've all in our life felt overlooked. You know what I'm saying? It felt like maybe not enough people were paying attention to us or giving us our due respects for the things that we do. I feel like artists are not the only ones. Because I would throw artists and like entrepreneurial people in kind of like the same boat. You know what I'm saying? People are looking to like build and, and build around like build something and then build something around it like yeah. kind of artists entrepreneurs yeah entertainers. all inside people in that box are the groups of people who like you said are willing to fight through the primal instinct not to do that shit and figure it out even though we know that at the other end of it you are now a lick to all these people that you don't even see yeah which is the craziest part about being a 
any, not even just a celebrity, just yeah. anyone with an audience, bro. Yes. Like there are literally tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands to millions of people out there who know everything about you. They know what you like to eat, your favorite snacks, <laughs> what shirt you like to wear on your so live stream the most, off, bro. bro. <laughs> I love potatoes, nigga. <laughs> And it's like, bro, they know all this shit about you and you don't know anything about them. Yeah. But like, how many times have people walked up to you and been like, oh, bro, like, yo, the last week or two months ago, you was talking about this and this live stream. And what did you mean by that? You're like, bro, you mean that live stream from mm-hmm. months ago, bro? Like, you just watched last night that I was yeah. just, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you get that, bro. And yeah. it's like, it takes a special type of person to want more of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, in that case. Yes. I, are we, are we I, I knew you was about to ask, bro. I are knew you was about to say. Are we narcissism being a good thing? <laughs> I don't think it's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. It sounds like narcissism equates to bravery. That's what that sounds like. No, but I, no, I, I, I get it. That's that is very interesting. That yeah. there's that double edged sword in that case. I, of course, I think you could want to stand out for purposes too, right? If you yeah. look at Martin Luther King, he was put in that position. He wasn't necessarily like, yo, I'm about to be the dude to save the world. I got the best perspective, you know, like on some Kanye stuff. It was yeah. more like, hey, we're training you, breeding you, and like take this position because we see the talents in you. Yeah. So, you know, maybe the purpose also can fuel that. But if we go back to insecurity, because I was going to say what you said, you said people have had this feeling of being overlooked. Everybody's experienced that in some way, mm-hmm. for the most part, right? Mm. But if I'm operating from that from that place, that goes under the definition of insecurity, yeah. right? And now I'm trying to be seen. I'm trying to make sure people understand what I I want to say because I've been un- misunderstood. I've been overlooked. So it doesn't sound like my, no, well. I mean, I think that is obvious, right? Like, like, oh, yeah, real, real deep conclusion and revelation, Sean. But I was <laughs> <laughs> just like, I, I, I was, I wanted to be willing to explore. Like, is this could be a good, could this be a good thing in some ways, right? What, what are the redeeming qualities of narcissism? Ultimately, of course, it's it's a bad thing. It's a sick sickness. But then, ultimately, at, at the at the end of it all, it sounds like there's a spectrum. Yeah. And I'm almost with. If you don't have any bit, if, if this is the pure de- definition, maybe we just call it something else because, you know, mar- narcissism has this rightly, rightfully so bad stigma. Y- you need to have a little bit of it in you. Yeah. That's why I said, like, I don't think, I don't think you got to be batting a hundred. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, man, like my, my mom was like a child psychologist. So like it's, it's a lot of these terms and things I'm just used to reading like her books and shit and like that's yeah. how she would break it down it's like it's a spectrum like it's more about the intent of like the behavior like the behavior itself mm-hmm. doesn't make you good or bad it's about like what you do with it right like some narcissists just want to open you know the best charity foundation for whatever cause they believe in it's not inherently bad right versus there's a narcissist that maybe wants to climb to the top of the corporate ranks and he wouldn't have burned the whole fucking building down on the way up there you know what i'm saying that now that person you, you make some arguments for it you know what i'm saying make some arguments about it. so it's a spectrum. Though. That's why I don't think it's inherently good or bad. I don't think artists even feel like the artists might be insane for wanting to chase the thing is good or bad. I just need you to know where you stand, bro. You're not, you're not normal, but you're an artist, so you already knew that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> that 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 yeah. is true. At this point, you should know that, that you're true. not normal. You know what I'm saying? That so, is true. No, not to shit. We 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 fall in the same boat, bro. You know. Think about how crazy we gotta be to wake up and be like, man, I'm gonna give some advice, and somebody gonna listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gonna do it and it's gonna work that out. That is fair enough. That, that, that is <laughs> he says somebody gonna work out. <laughs> uh, no, I, I could get with that. I, I you. you know, definitely we have a, a different apprehension though towards yeah, like, people pulling up to us on the street and everything though, yeah. than most people. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> but they, okay, uh, touche, touche. So hey, we we understand y'all then. Definitely, yeah, yeah, like, I we get we get y'all. Yeah. Y'all might be a little bit wilder, but. But we get y'all. We, we all in the y'all. same boat, riding towards the same shore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, and me, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a competitive person. So, like, does that, this competition, the reason for wanting to win have to be narcissism? Or could you just want to be number one just because you like to be number one? I don't know. That sounds narcissistic. But, yeah, man. But it can't. Then you got to right. unpack it. Like, why do you want to be number one? Ah, uh, where did it start? That's that shit. I'm not ready for it. Next, man, bro. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>